Hello, I'm Norm Rasmussen. I want to share with you one of the most important revelations that we can get from God regarding our position in God. This is really titled, Who I Am in Christ. But uh, in a sense, you can also say that it is a uh, admonition, exhortation, uh, on trying to get a better understanding of our identity shield in God. Uh, who we are in Christ, there's so much to be said about our position as born-again Christians in Christ. And let's qualify this right now. If you're not a uh, true born-again Christian, then what I'm about to share with you is only something that can be available to you, but first you have to qualify. How do you qualify? He must be a born-again Christian. There's a lot of uh, people around the world who call themselves Christians and don't have a clue what it means to be born again, as Jesus uh, addresses in the third chapter of John. Being born again is spiritually uh, made alive to God by the Holy Spirit because we want to exalt and glorify our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? I'm not going to get off on that tangent, but for those of you who are born again, this message is definitely for you. God wants us to get a handle, get us get an understanding of our position in Christ because that's where our uh, protection and safety and joy and peace and many other things that's available for the Christian, that's where it's going to be found. So many Christians um, are beat up. Uh, by the devil because they have not, uh, for whatever reason, understood their position in Christ. One of the things that Satan absolutely hates is a Christian to get a handle on who their position is in Christ Jesus. And uh, I uh, have written a great deal about this to help Christians, and so you can go right down at the bottom of the screen here and, and uh, click on that writing link, and it will give you numerous scriptures of who God says Christians are in Christ Jesus. This is not my thoughts. It's not human thoughts. This is what the Word of God, the Holy Scriptures say about our position in Jesus Christ as Christians. Let's just whet your appetite here a moment. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1, uh, starting with verse 3, reading out of the New King James Translation, it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Notice, in Christ, it says. Just as he chose us in him, or in Christ, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise and the glory of his grace, by which he has made us accepted in the Beloved. There's two key things there that I'm going to share just a little bit on, okay? One is, um, it reads, Just as he chose us in him, or in Christ, before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and without blame before him in love. Do you realize, friend, positionally, you are already as holy and as righteous as you are capable of being? The moment you got saved... The moment you truly got saved, got born again, if you will, you became as holy as you can possibly be made holy. How did that happen? Because of your position in Christ. Okay? Uh, further or more, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he has made us accepted in the beloved. You know, my friend, you may have lived a life of rejection, you may be living in that life right now, and, and it may be the biggest pain for you that has ever afflicted you. It seems like nobody accepts you. You're rejected. You've been rejected your whole life, and you've been trying to prove yourself to people, and it still seems to not be bearing much fruit. 
Friend, let me tell you, you're accepted in Christ Jesus. God accepts you in your position with Christ Jesus. And if God accepts you, it doesn't matter whether another human being accepts you or not. When you get a handle on that, that you are already accepted because you turned your life over to Jesus Christ to be your Savior and Lord. God immediately fully accepted you with all your character flaws. Now, just to keep things in balance, we've been made as holy as we can possibly be in Christ. But we're to walk in that holiness as Christians. And that's called sanctification. Okay? Because we've already been made as holy as we can possibly be in our position with Christ Jesus. Father made us that way. He says, now live up to it. Okay, and that means that we are to strive to walk in obedience to the commands in the New Testament Bible. And we are to uh, put to death the sins that we uh, so quickly uh, commit, uh, taking the more serious ones that uh, have a stronghold in our life and turn those over to God and work with the Holy Spirit to get those out of our life and then work on the minor ones. And uh, we're to walk in this holiness. We're to walk in this righteousness. But that's a little bit of a rabbit trail away from our identity in Christ Jesus. I would encourage you to uh, look at the, the link below here uh, and uh, read through the scriptures and some of the commentary that's with it. The, these are not all of the promises of who we are in Christ Jesus as Christians, but it is a great deal of them. It is enough to uh, get the point uh, made clear that our position in Christ is beyond human comprehension. And yet God is the one who has decreed it. So with that, take a look. Take a look at some of those scriptures. Take a look at some of the writing that uh, is available there at the bottom of the screen. Okay, thank you, and God bless you.